ago, we just had a, a did a show. I guess it it's running today about Kamala Harris, and she has wanted to hold um, people like Facebook accountable for everything that's said on Facebook. And so, if if something criminal, Very familiar, if something criminal happens, and, and imagine that you would break the internet, you would destroy it. You would destroy free speech. You would certainly Absolutely. destroy privacy. But there is this constant tension between government agents who want to control people's lives and, and manipulate what they can and can't do, and the internet, which and, and innovation and people, it will be free. Right. It, it will happen. People will find ways yes. to do the things that they want to do. Right. Well, that's essentially what the point is with the whole situation with Ross, is that he's being held accountable and, and responsible for everything that happened on a site that right. he was not controlling it. Right. I mean, he they did uh, monitor it for those things that created victims, but they wasn't controlling it. And it's it's if it were a civil case, they couldn't they wouldn't do that because there's a law where you cannot hold a um, website host accountable for what's said or done on the site, but because it was a criminal case. That's not covered, but it's exactly the same principle. It's vicarious liability. It's it's extending the criminal umbrella, liability umbrella, to include things that you didn't even do. Yeah. And that's what she's proposing, it sounds like. It's a very slippery slope because it can get from, oh, well, that's uh, marijuana or drugs or this or that. And then it's, well, you said the wrong thing. Right. It's speech. It's, you know, and that's the direction we seem to be going in. Yeah. So this this matters. Uh, what what happened to Ross matters for mm-hmm. a lot of a precedent of legal and philosophical reasons as we move forward because technology is ubiquitous and and the ability of people to um, curate and choose and and do whatever they want is that's that's the new normal and mm-hmm. and clearly incumbents particularly government incumbents don't much like that because. It's about control, but so he so he built this site and and he uh, I I assume he has since acknowledged that he's the guy that built it. Yeah, he had help building it because he's not a computer programmer. Okay, and that came out in trial, uh, but he created it. He had the idea for it. So he it. was the thinker. Yeah, yeah, the okay. philosopher. And it's even the judge even said at sentencing, "We know you created this site for philosophical reasons. We're just not sure it's a philosophy you've left behind." So I'm like, oh, so because he might still have this dangerous philosophy of voluntary interaction, he has to be die in prison. That's interesting. You know, she, she said it. It's in the sentence uh, sentencing yeah. transcripts. To me, that's a First Amendment problem. Yeah, uh, we should not be caged for our philosophy or our political views. Uh, she found them troubling and dangerous, and um, cited it. 